assalamu alaikum dear students today our topic and uh, the discussion is uh, vesicular stomatitis so coming toward its uh, introduction vesicular stomatitis is a viral disease being caused by two distinct serotypes of uh, vesicular stomatitis virus and uh, the commonly known in uh, america are new jersey and indiana serotypes then uh, the typical si signs are vesiculation ulceration and erosion of uh, the oral and nasal mucosa and epithelial surface of uh, the tongue mainly and then a coronary band near the foot region and the teeth are typically seen in clinical cases of vesicular stomatitis along with crusting lesions of the muzzle and ventral abdomen on the ears and on the sheath coming towards the susceptible species of uh, vesicular stomatitis uh, so clinically disease has been seen primarily in uh, horses and cattle and occasionally in pigs sheep goats and llama and uh, serological evidences of uh, exposure have been found in many species including non human primates and rodents birds dogs antelope and bats so the etiology of uh, this vesicular stomatitis viruses are member of uh, family raptoviridae and the genus is uh, vesiculo virus the genomic structure is a single strand of negative sense rna which composes of uh, five genes n p m g l representing the nucleocapsid protein phosphoprotein matrix protein glycoprotein and the large protein which is a component of the viral rna polymerase these viruses are uh, bullet shaped and generally have uh, 180 nanometer uh, length and they are 75 nanometer wide and uh, although there are many members of these uh, vesicular virus genus but uh, the new jersey and indiana serotypes are particular of interest these two viruses are similar in size uh, but morphology and also in morphology but generate uh, distinct neutralizing antibodies in infected animals coming toward the transmission of this uh, virus uh, the virus can be transmitted through uh, direct contact with the infected animal uh, with the clinical disease or clinical showing the clinical signs in having the lesions of vesicles and uh, ulcerations or uh, the other way is uh, through the vector uh, which is uh, by biting of the insect like uh, black flies uh, sand flies and biting the midges and have been shown uh, to be component vectors of uh, spreading this vesicular stomatitis but other insects uh, may also act as mechanical vectors now uh, i am going to uh, put some light on the epidemiology of uh, this uh, disease the vesical stomatitis virus are endemic in south america central america and parts of mexico but have not been seen naturally outside the western hemisphere the outbreaks uh, occurred in usa in 1995 to 2019 in these years and the largest outbreak in the past decade occurred in 2015 and resulted 823 affected premises in the eight states of usa and the prevalence of the clinical cases in herd is generally uh, low as uh, 10 to 20% uh, but uh, the zero prevalence uh, within the herd may approach up to 100% now coming toward the clinical findings of uh, this uh, disease the incubation period of uh, vesicular stomatitis is 2 uh, to 8 days and uh, is typically followed uh, by a fever and then by the time the animal develop the other signs like uh, tylism overproduction of saliva because of the ulcers and uh, uh, vesicles 
is often the first sign of the disease. The vesicle in oral cavity are rarely seen uh, in naturally occurring cases because of the rupture soon after the formation. Therefore, ulcers are the most common lesions which are seen uh, during the initial examination of uh, the, uh, the patient being represented on the clinic and the ulcers and erosions of the oral mucosa and sloughing of the epithelium of the tongue and uh, lesions at the mucocutaneous junctions uh, like uh, on the lips are commonly seen in both cattle and horses. Ulcers and erosions on the teeth are not uh, uncommon in cattle and may result in the secondary cases of mastitis in dairy cows. In here you can see uh, this uh, crust formation and the sloughing of uh, the uh, tongue epithelium. Here you can also see the tongue epithelium uh, is uh, sloughed off. And here you can see the ulceration and crust formation of uh, and in here it is the ear lesions and uh, here you can see these uh, crust formation lesions. Now the chronitis uh, with erosion at the coronary band and near the foot are seen in the uh, same uh, cattle and horses and uh, also in the pigs with subsequent development of the lameness and animal develop the lameness because of this coronary uh, lesions and the crusting lesions of muzzle, ventral abdomen and ear, sheath and udder of the horses and typically during the outbreaks is uh, seen in the western USA and the loss of uh, appetite due to the oral lesions and uh, lameness due to the foot lesions are common uh, uh, and normally of short duration. The disease is uh, generally self-limiting and uh, it resolves completely within 10 to 14 days. But uh, the virus uh, neutralizing antibodies to either serotype uh, which has infected the animal persist and have been documented in individual horses that had previously clinical disease for about uh, 10 to 12 years back after an outbreak. But uh, reinfection can occur after the uh, second exposure where they are not uh, uh, fixation that uh, if uh, animal has uh, occurred with one episode of this disease uh, so it can uh, redevelop in those animals which were previously infected coming toward the diagnosis and uh, in diagnosis the clinical signs with serological and antigen detection uh, there are three commonly used serological tests are competitive ELISA virus neutralization and uh, complement fixation and uh, the complement fixation titers are relatively short-lived and provide the best serological evidence uh, of recent infection. And then coming toward the uh, antigen detection assay to confirm the diagnosis include PCR test and uh, virus isolation. So as it is a uh, viral disease and self-limiting self disease, uh, so with no specific treatment uh, other than the sportive care, and uh, then uh, cachexia can be avoided by providing softened feeds and cleansing the lesions uh, with mild antiseptic uh, may help to avoid the secondary bacterial infection of uh, the oral uh, lesions and uh, uh, the other body lesions and then in case of uh, aged animals or those with underlying the medical conditions may require administration of uh, intravenous fluids if oral lesions result in reluctance of uh, reluctance or to drink then coming toward the prevention and control in prevention and control we can manage this disease uh, mainly and uh, management factors suggest uh, to reduce the risk of exposure to virus uh, which mainly include the limiting time uh, on the posture during the insect season and uh, reduce the animal contact with the insect uh, by using uh, such as application of anti uh, insecticides 
and uh, uh, when uh, practitioners observe uh, s uh, or suspect the cases of vesicular stomatitis they should report uh, this to uh, both uh, their uh, state and federal animal health officials as uh, this disease is uh, reportable and have uh, zoonotic importance um, and uh, the affected animals should be isolated and uh, the movement of uh, other animals from the affected uh, premises be restricted animals of uh, affected uh, premises quarantined for a period of at least 14 days from uh, specifically onset of the lesion in the last affected animal and coming toward the zoonotic risk uh, the vesicular stomatitis virus are uh, zoonotic and may cause self-limiting influenza like disease in, in humans which are uh, directly in contact with the virus and uh, it may develop uh, signs such as headache, fever, myalgia, muscular pains and uh, weakness and uh, this may last for three to five days in people uh, mainly those who are on the risk are in close contact with the virus for example the laboratory exposure uh, of the laboratory uh, assistant and laboratory uh, veterinarian and uh, who is doing uh, the job in uh, laboratory and then uh, coming towards the direct contact with lesion in infected animals uh, the individual which is working on the farm and have the direct contact with that uh, animal is on uh, main risk so thank you so much uh, this was all uh, if you have any question you can ask me in the group